What's up guys? This is Kefis. It's another beautiful day in the glorious wasteland of Fallout 4. And I am super excited because I am able to bring this game to you guys now. I'm on Xbox One. I can finally record Xbox, PS4, Wii U, next-gen footage, and share it with you guys on YouTube. And I'm super excited about that. So to celebrate, I'm going to do this video. And I'm in Sanctuary. My Sanctuary. Sanctuary Hills. And I am building things, and so far, I've built these giant walls, and I learned how to do this by following a, another guy's uh, example. I didn't, he didn't really show me how to build the walls in his video, but I did follow what he did, like, bas aesthetically, like, basically I built the same stuff that he did. So I can't take entirely all the credit for this, actually I can't take any credit for this. Uh, his name is Surreal Beliefs. I will have a link to his video of Sanctuary where I kind of kind of copied what he did, more or less. Did a few different things, slightly. But I kind of wanted to learn how to do stuff, and that's why I did this. Because, you know, like, I'm not as good at figuring things out as other people. And I would have never thought that you could build these massive walls like this. Um, so, uh, yeah, check out his video if you want to see what he, all he did. He's done so much more than I have so far. Uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of what he did so I could learn, and now I'm going to go off and do my own thing. So when I finish my sanctuary, perhaps I'll make another video and show you guys how I did it. But this video, I'm going to show you how to build these crazy walls. It's really easy, actually. So let's go into workshop mode. And it's, uh, you probably already guessed it. It's a floor, and it is the foundation shack. They can be foundations, or they can be walls, as you can tell, and that's exactly what we've used here to build these. These are also the blocks that people are using to fix the castle walls, to, re to make them look more like, like they've been repaired instead of just a bunch of rubble. If you've been to the castle yet, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I want to show you guys how to build these walls. The cool thing about these blocks um, is that you can adjust them, like, they have a maximum set height, so like, there it can't be like it's off the ground now so it only goes up so high uh, before you have to place it but you can sink them into the ground and what's cool about that is on areas of the ground where there where it's not level you can still use these things so I actually recommend as a side note that you use these on any structure where you're going to build a house or a building of any kind use foundation follow the rules of real life uh, uh, Pretend like you're trying to uh, be OSHA certified and make sure that OSHA would approve of your buildings by adding a foundation first. That'll make your building a lot easier. So that's one thing. Also, if you're wondering why I have so many resources, there's a reason why. Uh, this uh, save is actually a kind of like a creative mode save. Since I'm on Xbox, I don't have mods, so I can't just hack the game. So there are a few tricks and glitches that I am exploiting to make cool buildings just for fun. I have a different save where I'm not doing that at all, where I've already kind of finished the game and I'm playing the normal way, the survival mode way, if we're talking about Minecraft. So uh, I'll show you guys how to do some of that cool stuff later. But for now, uh, back to what I'm doing, which is building these walls. So here's the thing. you can When you place a block down, you can snap it to any other block, like so. So that makes it really easy to kind of build out a wall. Uh, I'll show you here. So if I place this, say, if I wanted to build a wall for some stupid reason right here, I'd place this down, and I could place one next to it, and I could do all that. But the problem is, I can't place one on top of it and have it snap. For some reason, they didn't design that. I don't know why, but they didn't. So I could sit here all day and try to jank this thing up in here, and it ain't going to happen. So I could, like, it's not going to snap. I could try to get it on there perfectly the the manual way, which is, like, so tedious it makes me want to rip my beer off right now. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. And I'm trying to grow this thing in. I'm already frustrated. And it's really hard to do. And if you're off even slightly, even more slightly than this, which this isn't slightly, but even if you're off a little bit and you're trying to build a two-story wall, look... You can't be off. You have to have it perfectly because the more you go along this wall, the worse it's going to get. So, you have to have the walls flush on top of each other if you are to build a decent wall. And so there's a way to do that. And the way that you do that, finally, I'm getting around to it, is to use these stairs. They are a floor stairs. They're not the actual stairs stairs. Like, there's a stair section. No, it's, it's the floor version. So what you want to do is on your wall, place these, and snap them next to the wall, like that. Now place this, the other block, 
up here and snap it next to the stairs. And then just get rid of the stairs. And there you go. Bam. You have two blocks stacked up on top of each other. And so now whenever you go back and you want to extend out your wall, check it out. Just go bam, bam. There you go. Now look, it's flush. And you can build a straight long wall as far as you want. And obviously if you want to like curve it, you can totally do that as well. You, you can have it snap to the wall. Um, and eventually, yeah, so there you go. And that's how you build these giant walls and keep them flush. Um, another little trick I'll show you is because these look, see this? If you hold down if you hold down the A button on Xbox, I don't know what it is on anything else but on Xbox, you hold down the A button, you can grab a section of, of, of objects next to each other, and you can see you can adjust these up and down pretty well because those concrete blocks can go into the ground pretty far. So you can make the walls taller or shorter just depending on what you want to do. So that's pretty cool. Um, lastly though, let's say you have a part of the wall where you kind of want it to go up a little bit. Like let's say you want like, let's say you want this part to be a little bit higher. So here's what you do. Check this out. You snap it on, right? And then you get rid of this block. And then like let's say you want it to be about, actually you know what, let's snap it to this one. So you want it to be a little bit higher than say this one right here. It's easy. Snap it on first, get rid of this, then grab this block and slowly go up just, just a little bit. Now, when you go back and put your wall on, check this out. Check this out. Maybe. Well, wait, I forgot. I'm a dummy. I completely forgot. You can't do it that way because, look, you can't snap it on. So, let's snap it back on like this and then do both. So, snap this one, snap this one, get rid of this, get rid of this, and now you can... Hold A and raise both of these up like that. And now when you go back and snap this one on and snap that one on, now look up there, you have an elevated wall. So that, that way if you're like trying to get over an obstacle or something like that, that's a good way to do that. That way you can still stay flush with the wall on top of each other and you can raise it up or you can lower it depending on what you want to do. So that's something to think about. And obviously another thing to think about is let's say you are over a road, it's an easy fix. Just like like what I did is on, on like if I want a gap in between, I place the blocks anyways, like that, place one there, place one there, and then put two up here, and wherever I wanted the gap, I just took these away, like that, and now I have a gap and I just put a bridge over the top. Have a couple guard posts on, on each side so that a guard can sit up there and watch the front gate and watch this this entrance too. So that way I got guards up there checking them out. I got turrets over there. It's all crazy. That's how you build a bridge. So that's basically how you build walls. And as you can see, I have a lot of walls. I'm going to build a wall around this entire place because I want it to be well fortified. I'm turning sanctuary into a city. So up here, see, this is the wall. So I built stairs up to the top of the wall, and this is the flooring on top of that uh, foundation. Luckily, it does have flooring, so I think it looks pretty awesome. And again, I want to thank uh, Surreal Beliefs for showing me that this is possible through his video. I don't even know the guy. I was just stumbling across uh, YouTube looking for videos on how to do cool things with uh, building, and this is what I came up with. This, is, this guy comes up with some pretty cool stuff. So like I said, I'm going to have a link to his videos uh, to specifically to this one, and you can check out his other ones. Well, he does other build, builds too at other uh, settlements. So I'm going to continue to learn, but I just wanted to share that bit of knowledge with you guys and to celebrate the fact that I can now record Xbox and next-gen footage and share it with you guys. So that means I can do even more stuff. The WoW stuff isn't going anywhere. The PC stuff, the macros, all that great stuff is staying on the channel, but now I get to do even more and share it with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you liked it and you want to share it with your other friends who like Fallout who might enjoy it, please do that. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to answer any questions. If you want to see more Fallout footage, let me know by hitting that like button and leaving comments. I really appreciate it. I hope you found this useful. So thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day. This is Kephas. Until next time.